Before we get started, I want to show you uh, how I got my setup here. Uh, it's just a, it's just an arbor here. It has a uh, eight inch expanding drum on this side, and then a, a grinding uh, shaping wheel on this side. Here I have a 60 grit, and uh, it's just a gravity water fed. Uh, all I did was put a little bucket here and attached it to the ceiling, and then uh, got some plastic hoses here, plastic hoses from Home Depot, and just uh, cut out and uh, put these brass uh, fittings on there to control the water. And it's just a regular uh, three-quarter horse uh, electric motor. And uh, one of the things I've done here is I've clamped it instead of bolted it onto the table. The main reason why I do that is to, uh, to adjust the height so if I have a, a bigger specimen, I can uh, unclamp this and put a, a two-by-four underneath here and then raise it up. Therefore, I'll have more clearance in here. Um, usually what I do though with the bigger ones, I, I take my hoods off uh, just so I have better, uh, more room. And if you're, if you're in a shop where you can get, get dirty, well, you can see here, my carpet here, it's just uh, full of, full of um, silt here but from grinding and sanding. But anyway, uh, this is how I set up. I got these uh, hoods from, from, um, again, from, from Raytech. And uh, you got to order them, and they uh, they make them. They don't have them in stock, so they, they they custom make them. But it took me about a month to get them, a month or two, I think. But anyway, they're well worth it. Any any person with the sheet metal um, experience or know somebody in sheet metal, you can get these get these made fairly easily, and they're real simple. But anyway, I just thought I'd show you the setup before we get started. <laughs> 